or the mediator design pattern. The mediator pattern is a behavioral pattern that defines an object that encapsulates how a set of objects interact. With the mediator pattern, communication between objects is encapsulated within a mediator object. And objects communicate through the mediator rather than directly with each other. Okay, so we have a component here with two interface methods, notify and receive, but it also has a reference to a mediator. So we can create many components all with a reference to the same mediator, and that mediator will handle communication between each of these components. So the mediator has two methods, add for adding new components, and a notify method that the component can call that will notify all the other components. The mediator. It's a middleman. Let's get coding. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is create a file called mediator.py. And in that file, I'm going to import the abstract base classes with ABC meta and abstract method. I'm going to create the component first and its interface. So here's the interface I component static abstract with a notify static abstract receive. And here's the component with a reference to the mediator. When we create the component, we'll tell it who its mediator is, and we can also tell the component its name. Okay, so now I'm going to add a required notify method to components. So define notify mediator dot notify message, and I'll add the receive method. Okay, excellent. Now let's create the mediator. So class mediator. It has an init function. And it keeps a list of components that it knows about. We'll create an add method so that we can add components and we'll add a notify method so that we can notify all components okay so for all the components and self components we'll call the components receive method receive and we'll print out the incoming message okay so let's create now a client called mediator we call say mediator and we'll create a component one equals a component and it needs to know about a mediator so there's a mediator and the name of the component is component one let's create another component called component two and another one called component three. We have three components. Now we'll also add those components to the mediator. So mediator dot add component one. Mediator dot add com component two. And mediator dot add component three now we'll test this out by making component one send a message to all other components so component one dot notify everybody of data okay let's try that out Python mediator.py. Okay, so component one sends data using a notify method, and the mediator, which has a list of all components, will then call each component's receive method, and in comes the data. In. 
so we can also do component 2.notify and it's the other way around while well, component 2 goes out and the mediator sends data back to each component now the great thing about the mediator is that we can tell it to not send data back to the component sending the data we'll just extend this slightly we're going up to the component and when the component notifies it also tells the mediator who it is by using self okay so mediator notify the message but we'll also pass a reference to ourself so in the mediators notify we also need to know about which component was the sender and so if component is not equal to the component then we can call all other components receive methods let's try that out okay so component two out and only component one and three got incoming data so let's try that with a different component three three sent data out and only one and two got data in and really that's that's quite a complicated set of functionalities right and the uh, mediator design pattern makes that really easy very good.